Good day everyone. Today I'm going to introduce you to the Kindle Cloud Reader. This is a plugin for Firefox, uh, Google Chrome, and the uh, Safari web browsers. Uh, the nice thing about that is that it makes it uh, cross-platform capable. It can be installed in Windows, uh, Linux, and on your Mac. Um, as well, if you wish to uh, read Kindle books uh, on your mobile devices like an iPad, iPod, or an iPhone, uh, you can install a Kindle app for that, and I believe there is also one for the an Android devices as well. Um, the Clin Kindle Cloud Reader is different because it allows you to read Kindle books and download Kindle Kindle books without actually owning a Kindle device, uh, as you know, which is super nice. Um, basically, you can read online and you can read offline, so you don't need to be hooked up to the internet to read your books. You can download them and read them on your laptop anywhere you are without having an internet connection, which is a very big plus. Uh, it allows you to synchronize back and forth between the cloud and your device, which is excellent. And basically, the Kindle Cloud Reader becomes your interface to your uh, Amazon library. It's awesome. Uh, plus, I found out in the, in the process of doing this that you can download thousands of free books from uh, the Amazon website as well and I'll show you all how to do that as well as well as showing you how this program works it's excellent okay so first thing you're gonna do is you know get a Google search going on and then type in Kindle Cloud Reader then you'll get the link here to go and uh, get this uh, reader it's awesome click on that first thing you it's gonna do is ask you if you're a new customer or if you're a returning customer in my case I'm a returning customer and uh, therefore I will be uh, logging in with my own credentials uh, if you're a new customer you need to have a uh, an Amazon account in order to download any Kindle books so if you want to go on with this you need to create yourself an Amazon account otherwise if you already have an Amazon account well you know what to do log in with that I'll be right back Okay, so I've logged in with my credentials, uh, as, as well as you should have as well. Um, now we're installing this into Firefox, so you'll see that we have one pop-up already. But basically, the, uh, the Cloud Reader uh, prompts you all the way through it. It says click the Allow button twice, once on the pop-up and once on the bar, and you'll see that happening while I do it. I'm going to do it right now. I click on Allow on this one, and then you click on Get Started and you'll get the second one up here okay now you'll notice that there's lots of books in here already well these are books I already downloaded when you do this you won't have any in there at all so let's get you some books for your Kindle uh, cloud reader first you got any, you need to go to the Kindle store so we're gonna type in to uh, the search engine Kindle store which will get us right there. Um, Amazon Kindle Store. Over 1 million books and newspapers, blah, blah, blah. Let's go there. Once you get there, all you need to do to get free books for your Kindle or your Kindle Cloud Reader is just type in free Kindle books. And guess what? There's thousands. Okay? So, uh, let's just install one for the heck of it just so you can see and let's uh, do Pride and Prejudice now you see that right beside the buy there's a value of zero that means it's a free book so you won't be charged for it awesome a whole book to read the, the, all the classics uh, a lot of the classics are free which is awesome and there's thousands and thousands of them so click on buy and you get the buy page which shows you how much these would all cost. Otherwise, paperback is three bucks, mass market paperback on a bridge four ninety five, so on and so forth. Guess what? You're getting it for free today because you looked at my video. Now it says here buy now with one click while you're buying it for zero cents, so it's free. And it says deliver too. Well, I have the Kindle app on my uh, three, my iPhone and on my iPod, but I want it delivered to the Kindle Cloud which both those apps have access to. So once you put something into your cloud, it's a virtual 
library and that's uh, being stored there and can be accessed through your Kindle app on your iPhone, iPad or you know Android device and so on. So now we got a set when I say buy now it was one click. Got that happening. Over here it says read now in Kindle Cloud Reader so we're gonna do that so I can show it to you. And there it is, Pride and Prejudice in full glory. Now you get all these you know all these controls at the top so I'll show you how they work let's go back and let's go to the let's show you the first one so we're gonna go to the we're looking at the cover now we're gonna go to the beginning at the beginning we're gonna say oh, I'm gonna highlight this and you just left click on it and it gives you the option to highlight I'm gonna highlight it now it's yellow as it should be let's go to another page couple pages down let's highlight this and click highlight and now you want to see all those things well here's how you manage your highlights notes and marks it shows you what you've highlighted and where it is location 1 location 30 and it can take you right to it so we'll go here and I'll go back to the first page as well as you can delete them so we're going to delete delete so there's no marks in that page. The other thing you can do here is you can put a bookmark on it or you can change your font size to bigger to uh, change your margins change it to black or sepia or whatever you want. I'm going to leave mine the way it was but you see that you have those options. Okay. Now those are that's the basic controls of how you use the uh, uh, Kindle Cloud Reader, which is awesome. So there you go. So let's go back to the library, and you have all the books that are, you know, currently uh, in your cloud, right? Now I go to download it, and I see that I have Pride and Prejudice. Okay, and you click it, and then off you go. So we're going to go back to the library, and back to the cloud. All right. And here you have a search function, you have uh, refresh, and you have in terms of use, legal notices, contact us, and sign out. You may want to sign out when you're done with this so other people don't peek at your books or your library or do anything to your library. Now, uh, you see that you have the book and you can pin the book and you can open the book, but you cannot delete it, which is a real pain in the butt. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to manage your library. All you do is open another tab, go back to the Kindle store, and in the Kindle store you're going to have Manage Your Kindle. So I'm going to click on Manage Your Kindle, there we go, and it'll show you a list of all your books. Now I just put Jane Austen in there, Pride and Prejudice. I want to get rid of it. Well I can read it now by clicking over here on Actions, deliver it to my whoever, let's click on that uh, you can deliver it to your, your phone you can deliver it to your iPod whatever right uh, we don't need to do that I'm just showing you your options uh, you can clear the furthest page read in other words you can start from the beginning again or you can do what I want to do which is delete it from my library so delete from library are you sure yes there you go that deletes it from the library now we go over here to cloud reader and you'll see it's still there but you do a refresh and it's gone so your virtual library is now one less book so this is you know basically a very awesome way to have your own private library it takes up no space doesn't uh, use any paper and it's accessible from any device that you have. And even if you get a Kindle, this will be uh, the basis of the Kindle and the books that you have in your Kindle will be available through this. So, I think it's awesome. I'm a book nut, so this is, uh, you know, really great for me. Um, I hope you found value in it. Uh, I hope you have a great day, and I thank you very much for watching. And uh, if you have any questions, make sure you put them in my YouTube section. Thank you. Have a great day.